Today let's learn to use handweaving.net's new gradient color editor. To show this feature I'm going to use draft 47006 on the site and I chose this one because it's a plain weave draft and that shows off color gradients nicely. You can use this feature with any draft that's on the site though and get some interesting effects with all different sorts of weave structures. There it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is change its colors. So let's choose some nice colors to work with. Maybe a nice dark purple like that. And a couple of contrasting colors. Let's get an orange and maybe a yellow too. There. Okay, now let's color the entire draft, both the warp and the weft, with the dark because again that makes it easy to see the gradient. That's certainly not required but it, it makes for a nice demonstration. So to do that I'm going to choose the purple and hit replace colors and click on any color in the warp and it will replace all of that with purple and then we'll choose the color in the weft and it'll replace all of that color with purple too. So now the whole draft is purple and let's do some gradients. So I'm going to click this new button that says gradients right here and now it asks me to choose either the warp or the weft for creating a gradient. You do them one at a time and you can either select the whole warp with this button or you can click and drag across a range of threads to just color those threads with a gradient. Same thing with the weft. You can select the whole thing by choosing that or you could click some threads within the weft drag the mouse and release it and whatever you dragged over will get colored with a gradient. Let's choose select all warp to choose the whole thing. And now you can choose the colors that you want to have in your gradient. There are two colors in every gradient. And I will choose orange as my first and purple as my second. And if you keep choosing it'll just keep you know, making selections as you do that. But I'm going to go with orange as my first purple is my second. And now let's do a linear gradient. And linear transitions from color 1 to color 2 across the region. So there is a linear gradient and you can see it goes from purple gradually to the orange. Now you can play with this threading unit that is within the groups in the gradient how many threads are in, in each group and it'll make the appearance of it different. You can also change the scale and that is how fast the transition occurs and you can just play with that until it looks until it looks good to you. That looks good to me. You can reverse the order by clicking that and it will flip it left to right or top to bottom depending on whether you're working in the warp or the weft. And then there are a couple other controls too. If you want to see the interlacements in the threads, you can ch you can choose show lines. And if you want to see the back side of the fabric, you can choose show opposite side. And in this case, it's pretty similar, but it's not not always. Okay, so let's keep that. We'll choose save colors, and there it put the gradient into my original draft in the color editor. So now let's choose gradients again, and this time we'll work with the weft instead of the warp. So I will ch I will choose select all weft. And let's do a linear gradient again. After we choose the colors, we'll go with orange as our first color and purple as our second one more time. And now we'll choose linear. And as you can see, it put the gradient into the weft instead of into the warp. So we can play with these controls again and get it to look like we want it to. I think I'll just go with that. And now I'll save it. And there it is. I'll make it a little smaller so we can see it better. So that's a linear gradient in two directions. Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to hit undo twice, once to undo the changes I made to the weft colors, and one more time to undo the changes I made to the warp, and now we're back to plain purple. So I'll choose gradients again, select all warp, and now let's do a curved gradient. 
and curved means it transitions from one color to the other and then back to the first but in sort of an exponential way so that when you look at the fabric it's a simulation of a 3d curve if you stand back and take a look that actually looks like it's got dimensions to it and and it's curved and so the same thing with this you can play with the threading unit to change the number of the threads in each group you can also change the scale to get the transition to occur faster or slower to to really really just to get it to look how you want and then you can hit save colors so there's a curve and now let's do another one I'm gonna hit undo and that'll undo the changes that I just made to the warp thread colors so we're back to plain purple I'll choose gradients again one more time select all warp and now I think I'm gonna go with the colors just as they are I'm gonna choose purple as my first color and gold is my second color and this time I'm going to pick Fibonacci so there's a classic Fibonacci sequence it starts with the small part of the sequence on the right and progresses as the numbers increase in each thread for Fibonacci to the left you can reverse it if you want to go left to right instead of right to left <clears throat> so there's Fibonacci um, now after you've chosen a sequence like this or, or a gradient you can still change the colors so if I wanted purple as my first and yellow as my second you can do that you don't have to choose the colors first you can do them anytime but I like the gold better so we'll go back to that and we'll hit save colors and there's Fibonacci so let's do a couple more I'll hit undo to undo the warp color changes now we're back to plain purple again we will choose gradients select all warp and now we'll do alternating stripes and I'm going to choose orange as my first color purple as my second alternating stripes and now it asks how many threads should go in each stripe of each of the colors so it starts with one in each one orange thread and one purple thread and that's how it looks and I'm gonna put two orange threads and maybe four purple threads there now we'll save that and now let's do the same thing in the weft I'll choose gradients again select all weft alternating stripes actually let's choose the color first gold is color one purple is color two alternating stripes and now we'll do the same thing two two orange and four purple and I want to see what the interlacements look like so I'm going to choose show lines and maybe make this just a bit bigger so I can see it better there that looks good okay let's save it save colors it's back to the color editor and there it is just like you'd entered all of these colors by hand except you did it with the new gradient tool okay let's undo that undo the weft changes undo the warp changes and we'll do one more and this time we're going to change just part of the warp or part of the weft not the whole thing so I'll choose gradients and instead of choosing select all warp or select all weft I'm going to click and drag across these colors and then I'll release the mouse where I want the region to stop so now when I set a gradient it's not going to do the whole warp or the whole weft it's only going to do the region that I picked and you can do this multiple times to put different gradients in different regions so let's choose maybe orange is my first color and purple is my second and now let's choose Fibonacci but now look the Fibonacci gradient is just in the middle it's just in the region that I selected not the whole thing so that's it that's the new gradient feature I hope you make something amazingly beautiful with it and thanks for watching